All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over six simple ways to speed up your WordPress website. So when you're looking for website speeds, my favorite tool to use is gtmetrics.com. They'll give you a performance report for your website. They have a couple different scores down here, a page speed score and a Y slow score. If you scroll down, you can see some of the recommendations and some areas where you need to improve. Uh, so I like to use this tool to kind of see where I need to improve my website. They'll give you some different tips so you can keep speeding up your website. I still need to keep optimizing my website, but I'm going to show you some of the things I've done to really speed up and improve my performance. So the first thing is to choose a good web host and to choose a good hosting package. And there's a lot of different web hosts online, so I would use online reviews to guide your decision. I use Bluehost personally. If you don't want to use Bluehost, you can look at some of the other options. So Coming down to hosting, there's shared hosting, cloud hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated hosting, and WordPress hosting. I would recommend using VPS or dedicated hosting because that gives you your own server, whereas these other options, you're using a shared server. So you're sharing a server and the server's resources with other websites. So if we scroll down a little bit here, VPS says provides power, control, flexibility, run a server the way you want, dedicated, improved security, complete customization. So VPS and dedicated are actually more secure than the other options because you're not sharing a server with other websites and they will perform the best too. So if you have a new website, you can use share to start with, but I would highly recommend switching to VPS and dedicated as you start building out your websites, uploading images, uploading content. It's really going to help with overall performance. And right now I'm using VPS and I can tell you that my website speeds have improved just from switching to a cloud server to a VPS server. So this is my first tip, use a VPS or dedicated hosting package and use a good web host, a good reliable web host. You can use online reviews if you don't wanna use Bluehost to see some of the other options. So number two is gonna to be to use a caching plugin. So I use WP Rocket, it costs $35 a year I believe. If we scroll down, you can see all the different features. So quick setup, page, ca page caching, cache preloading. So basically, basically what a cache does, uh, so I'm gonna look at the free option here. So WP Fastest Cache, if you don't wanna use a premium plugin like WP Rocket, you can use a couple other plugins. So WP Fastest Cache is one of them. There's a few others if you wanna look them up. Uh, so basically what a caching plugin does, it creates static HTML files from your WordPress blog and generated static HTML files will be served to other users as they reach that page. So they don't have to continuously keep rendering the page over and over again. So it uses less resources on your website and it speeds up overall performance. So you absolutely wanna use a caching plugin. I would say these first two tips are the best things you can do for your website is get a good hosting package, make sure your server's fast and use a caching plugin so that your website content can be served as fast as possible. If you don't go with WP Rocket, you'll wanna use some other speed plugins. So WP Rocket basically does everything for you. Um, so you can see here, there's so many features that it has compared to some of the competitors. Um, if you're using a different caching plugin, a free plugin that WordPress provides, you wanna use WP Optimize, which helps clean up your WordPress database. And you wanna use another plugin like WP Disable. So this will reduce HTTP requests, disable emojis, disable embeds, speed up a WooCommerce website. So each of these different plugins will do different things with your website to optimize your website and really give you the best possible performance when it comes to website speed. So I would recommend either going with WP Rocket. This would be my first choice. If you don't want to spend the money, and trust me, I, I didn't for a while, uh, what I would use is a different caching plugin like WP Fastest Cache, along with WP Optimize, along with something like WP Disable. So there's different plugins that will do the same jobs as these. These are the ones I prefer. Uh, and they're really easy to use, easy to set up, and easy to configure, and it's really gonna speed up your website. So number four is to use a CDN, otherwise referred to as a content delivery network. So my preferred choice, and the only one I've ever used, is Cloudflare. So what Cloudflare does is it caches your website all across the world. So if you have an origin server, it says, you know, let's just say right in the center of USA, when someone's looking for your website in California, when someone's looking for your website in Florida, it's able to quickly and easily give them the content faster uh, because it's able to cache your content across their global network. So it says bringing it closer to visitors from every single region. So Cloudflare is able to help serve your content faster. And you can see here, so I have it set up for farmhouse goals, completely free. They have pro versions, but I'm using the completely free version. All you need to do is set it up on your website and update your name servers, and it's gonna help cache your content 
basically all over the world so that it serves faster to people when they're actually looking for your website. Uh, so number five is going to be to use an image compression plugin. So Smush Image Compression Optimization, they have a free and pro version. So with the free option, you can quickly just press a button and it helps to reduce the file size of your images. And it's not going to take down the quality either, but all you have to do is really just press a button and it's going to take the images that you've already uploaded and it's going to optimize them by, let's just say you're uploading an image that's 100 kilobytes, it's going to take it down to... 50 kilobytes. So everything goes down and you end up saving tons and tons of space. I used Smush It for beachfront decor and I had 18,000 images on my website. So it took a while to basically smush all of them and optimize all of them, but it really does improve website speeds. So WP Smush It it's called or Smush Image Compression and Optimization. It's a great plugin. It's free to use. They have a pro version, but you can easily optimize your images. And images are one of the big things that takes a while when your pages are loading. So if you have optimized images, it really speeds up your website. So number six is to make sure your WordPress theme isn't dragging down your website. So if you go to WordPress, the main WordPress themes page and go to popular, all of these themes will perform well for your website. These have been tested. A lot of websites are running them. Uh, so you could actually find, so a couple of my websites use storefront for WooCommerce. Uh, there's a ton of different themes here that are completely free to use. If you want to go with a paid theme, I would use themeforest.net. Uh, you can go to WordPress and see all the different themes they have here. You can see the top selling themes for the year and what they're good for. It kind of ranks, you know, you can see the prices down here. So 35, 29. So prices basically range from about $25 to $50, depending on the theme you use. But you can see the rating here. So all these are popular, top rated. Uh, they're all going to perform well for you. If you're using a theme that not a lot of people are using, if you're using a custom theme, you want to make sure it's not dragging down your website. So I usually just go with popular WordPress themes because they stay updated. They're generally responsive to mobile. And just make sure you're using a good WordPress theme because if you have a poor WordPress theme or you've done a ton of customizations to it and it's not performing well, it's going to drag down your website speed. So let's go through everything real quickly again. Number one, use VPS or dedicated hosting and use a good hosting provider. Number two, use a caching plugin. I like WP Rocket. It does everything for you. Uh, if you're looking for a free option, WP Fastest Cache. Number three is going to be to use other speed plugins. So you don't need to do this if you're using WP Rocket, but you can use other plugins like WP Optimize to keep your database running well. You can use WP Disable to reduce HTTP requests, disable different things in your website. Number four is going to be to use a content delivery network like Cloudflare. Very easy to set up on your website. So number five is to use an image compression plugin to really optimize your images. And number six, make sure you're using a popular WordPress theme or at least a theme that's not dragging down your website. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. It's really easy to speed up your WordPress website if it's running slow. Uh, and these are some of the tips that you can use to really speed it up quickly. So thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our channel.